It's your voice, your vote. Texans will head to the polls for the state's primary on March 5th, and your votes will decide who will be in the running for El Paso's district attorney when the general election comes along in November. ABC 7 Sam Harrison Witz has attended a forum involving the candidates vying for the Democratic nomination, and he joins us now live. Sam. Stephanie, three candidates sat down and spoke to the public this evening. It was attorneys James Montoya and Nancy Casas, along with former Judge Alma Trejo. They are hoping to face current Republican District Attorney Bill Hicks in that general election this November. The three candidates joining together in an open forum in downtown El Paso, each describing their biggest priority if elected El Paso District Attorney. The lack of qualified felony lawyers in the District Attorney's office has ramifications across the board. The cases simply aren't receiving the attention that they deserve, and so the top three priorities are staffing, staffing, staffing. Making sure that we address the backlog that still continues, that we recognize, retain, and recruit staffing, attorneys specifically, but also staff members. And the third thing is making sure that we collaborate more with the community. I will actively recruit and I will think outside the box. Maybe full time is not for everybody. Maybe part time, maybe temporary, maybe contract work. There are 111 murders and capital murders that need to be tried. As El Paso awaits the beginning of the state's trial against the Walmart shooter Patrick Crucius, each candidate explained to me their message to the families awaiting justice. I have death penalty experience. I plan to go in on day one, talk to the Walmart case prosecutors and figure out where we are and where we need to be to try this case as soon as possible and bring closure to the victims and to El Paso. The folks that are working on the case right now, they're going to continue working on it. There will not be any change. We're going to stay the course. We're going to maintain that continuity. We're going to continue seeking the death penalty. Um, and, and my message to the families is just hang in there. It's important to make sure that we prioritize any high-profile case, anything that would truly affect our community. We have to be sure that there are resolutions. Our community wants a resolution. While District Attorney Bill Hicks was invited to this event, he declined to attend. I reached out to his chief of staff and he explained to me it's because this forum was for primary contenders and since DA Hicks has no primary contenders running against him, he elected not to attend. Reporting live in studio, Sam Harris-Simowitz, ABC7.